So like I said, we're here talking about organic traffic and getting attention online, getting people to find you on social media so that they go to your website and buy your products. So a major aspect of this process is something called SEO or search engine optimization. So what is SEO? Search engine optimization. Essentially, SEO mean, is a process that you do to get your content found in search results. Traditionally, SEO refers to a website. And so when it, when it comes to a website, there's two facets of SEO. There's on-page SEO, and then there's off-page SEO. So on-page SEO is what happens on your website. It's right in the name, right? On-page. That means when you're setting up your webpage, you wanna keep in mind uh, things like keywords and links and um, are you using these keywords in your title in your h1 are there variations of your keywords throughout your content are your images uh, captioned and is the alt text using keywords things like this uh, are what we call on page SEO so the opposite side of that off page SEO is ways that you can optimize your content that happen off of your website for example if you get a guest post on a blog or somebody else links to your content or you create a social media post about your website, these things are off-page SEO. So combined, off-page and on-page SEO is what we use to drive traffic to digital media content and our websites. So when it comes to SEO, there's another thing to keep in mind as well. In addition to on-page and off-page SEO, there's also something called white hat SEO and something called black hat SEO. And without going into too much detail about it, white hat SEO is essentially following Google's terms of use and um, using processes and techniques that Google approves of. Black hat SEO, on the other hand, means violating Google's terms of use. It means uh, using their search engine and the algorithms and your content in ways that um, they weren't necessarily designed to be used, right? So does that mean unethical? Well, it all depends on what you do. SEO is just a tool, right? Just like a hammer. So with a hammer, you could go and build a beautiful house and spend the rest of your life in it and raise a family, right? Or you could use that same tool to hit somebody over the head and spend the rest of your life in jail or worse. So SEO is no different. And when it comes to black hat SEO in particular, um, whether or not it's ethical depends on what black hat SEO techniques you use. Personally, I like to combine the best of white hat and black hat SEO to get the absolute best rankings I can without getting my site penalized. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments down below what you want to know about black hat SEO and I will be happy to share that with you. Overall, I'm going to be focusing my content strategy here on mostly white hat SEO. Uh, maybe delving a little bit into gray hat SEO, but generally I avoid uh, focusing on black hat SEO for a number of reasons. Number one, it can get your website penalized, right? And we don't want that. Number two is that most people trying to run a business online want to do things the right way and they're in it for the long term. So by taking these black hat SEO shortcuts, a lot of times that could be detrimental to somebody's long term plan because while they might get rankings in the short term, getting penalized is ultimately going to hurt their goal. So that's why I mainly focus on white hat SEO with my efforts, but I think it's important to understand everything that's going on and to learn everything you can, which is why I also share information about black hat SEO and I experiment it and just like to have fun with it as we go along. 